What's going on guys? So we are still out here at the e-trailer tow day event and we are with a very, very cool product, an innovative product and one that so many people ask me about and that is Pro Pride Hitches. So we have Brent here who is director of, what's your job? Sales and customer service. Sales and customer service with Pro Pride. Pro Pride is a product that I've talked about a lot on my channel, even though I've never actually featured it because I don't really have an application for it. But if you are into conventional towing, which is travel trailer, Pro Pride is a, a very unique product because they offer an alternative in terms of weight distribution, but primarily sway control. So that's really cool. We're gonna spend some time out here talking about it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, Brent, nice to meet you finally. Hey, pleasure to meet you, JD. So th what was funny about this, when I first came out here and I was started talking to him, he's like, I think you're the reason why our product is sold through eTrailer now. Because eTrailer contacted him because I had so many viewers who would send me emails saying, why doesn't eTrailer carry ProPride? So eTrailer reached out to ProPride. ProPride is now a product that is sold through eTrailer. Yeah. And there is some very, very unique engineering reasons as to why this product is different than just about every other weight distribution, sway control, hitch product on the road. So I'm gonna give Brent an opportunity to throw it all at me. Just kind of explain everything about this product, why it's so special, what people should know about it. At the same time, if you have a couple cons, I think the only con I can think of is it's kind of heavy. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah, It's heavy, just like every weight distribution system on the market, yeah. but a good portion of this stays on the trailer. Absolutely. Right, yeah. so you're not you're not lugging that much off. It's not as if this is something you need to remove and reinstall every time. So, Brent, take it away. All right, JD. So, you're absolutely right. So, you know, one of the big questions is, man, this thing is like heavy. It's about 195 pounds uh, total, right? However, all that lives on the trailer for the most part. You've got uh, the the main unit here uh, that connects. Obviously, we're locking out the ball in here, but everything else lives on here. Once you add in the uh, hitch bar onto this guy and it's it's connected into there your downward pressure on the ball Which is right being the pin of that is actually only probably about 60 70 pounds of tongue weight So you really don't go that much against your payload even though it's 195 most of that weight's gonna stay on the trailer So okay. that's good stuff because it sits back so far. It's not as much of a lever on the back there So that's number one. So if you've got like a lighter weight vehicle uh, you've got a Grand Cherokee, a Jeep, a new Ranger, um, or even, you know, all the way into the one tons. You don't have to really worry about that payload factor of it, right? Okay. You're still about the same. So that's number one. Um, it is a full sway eliminating hitch along with weight distribution. So it's got a world-class weight distribution hitch system on it as well. We've uh, created these uh, weight distribution jacks, which we'll probably show maybe on this side. Let's see if we can get here without too many shadows. Perfect, yeah. So these things are super smooth and the action that they have, they live on the trailer as well. So when you back up, you don't have to worry about uh, taking these off, disconnecting anything. You literally just back up like you want to or like you normally would without having to worry about anything. These, is the three quarter inch socket, adjust these. So you literally can go up and down with these guys to adjust your weight distribution however you like. These also add a secondary function because we lock out the ball on here. So you actually have a, a hitch bar. It's a two inch hitch bar going into an over three inch opening and you can adjust the angle of that opening with these uh, weight distribution bars as well. So Very if cool. you've got a different, uh, uh, you're coming up on your trailer, your trailer's level, but your truck is lower, you're able to actually adjust those. Kind of, uh, we talked about a wheelbarrow too. I know you like that. Um, that no, definition yeah. there, you use it for a different way, which you can explain too, because I like that. But you lift those up, pitches it down, push it down, pitches it back up. So it's kind of a neat feature there. So let's talk about why this is revolutionary in the sense of eliminating conventional sway. And we talked sure. about this early. Yeah. Uh, when Before I started recording, when I first got out here, I talked to him about, you know, anytime we talk about sway control, you can control the sway, you can eliminate the sway, you can do things here at the front. But that doesn't mean that there's other forms of energy and forces that can cause what feels like sway, sure. right? So this is gonna eliminate conventional sway. And you know, if you could kind of go over why this is so effective at what it does. Yeah, for sure. So what we do is we basically, it eliminates the trailer acting as a lever on the back of your truck. We lock this out completely. So this cannot act like a lever on the back. So say you've got your, your, your trailer here in your truck, traditionally, when your trailer goes this way, it pushes your truck the opposite way, and vice versa. That's what causes that sway to happen, right? That oscillation. The pivot point, yep. Exactly. So we lock out that pivot point completely. This trailer has to pivot through our system on these two spindles right here. 
So if there's a, a, a force that's uh, introduced to the trailer, it basically would pivot, pivot this forward about 52 inches so it sits at your rear axle instead. What that does is it creates a fifth wheel-like experience. So you've got that kingpin up there basically that allows this thing to act just like a fifth wheel does. So you move as one big unit when that force is presented to, yourself, presented to the trailer and you can correct as one big unit. And that's a huge difference. The stability is unmatched. Yeah, so check it out. So when we talk about wheelbarrow handles, that's essentially these two pivot points right here. You spread out that distributed force to these two outer pivots and you've eliminated this single axle or single axis pivot point right here which traditionally creates the hinging effect which causes sway so this completely eliminates traditional conventional sway that said there are other things that can contribute to a feeling of sway let me give you an example if you have a lift kit on the back of your truck and you have big knobby off-road tires that are super tall profile that can actually give you the, the feeling of sway because the sidewall of the tire is flexing now. So no matter where you move the energy, if the tires are giving you that feel of sway, you're gonna still feel it. On the back of a trailer, if the trailer axles are out of alignment and the trailer wants to pull in an off direction, as you're pulling it straight, you're pulling it back into line and it's gonna overcorrect through inertia and wanna swing far the other way. So you'll get rear end trailer sway. And what you have to understand about any weight distribution system with sway control is that sway elimination, sway control up here is only as good as the other factors that you're also looking out for. This system will eliminate conventional sway. That is huge. That is something that a lot of people are looking for because if you have sway, if you travel up through the mountains, if you travel through you know, heavy interstate corridors with semi-trucks and big class A's are buzzing by you all the time, that force, that wind is constantly trying to create that hinging effect between the vehicle and the trailer. And this eliminates the hinging effect because there's no more single axis hinging that can take place right here. You got it. You got that it. is very, very cool. And this is really the only piece that's going to be attached to your truck. You got it. Right? Yeah. Yep. And this is fully adjustable for up to eight and a half inches of rise or eight and a half inches of drop. And we've got a tilt feature in here as well to keep the unit nice and level once the uh, load is presented to it. And also to help out with additional weight distribution characteristics. So for every uh, washer you add here, it gives a extra leverage on the, the jacks here as well so you can get as much or as little as you want you can fine tune it or you don't have to at all very super cool. easy yep now this is absolutely an awesome awesome design i can't i really can't even fathom the engineering that went into this this is there's so much um in terms of, of just trying to make sure everything comes together to make this work um it, it kind of blows me away because there's a lot of really innovative engineering that went into this Yep. Cool. And we got this one loosely installed, so everybody out there that's uh, watching stuff, uh, I'm sure you'll point out some things. Which oh, is yeah. Our customers are fantastic. So no, and, and, like, and hey, it's super cool. It's not square on there. So, so one thing you had mentioned is you have this huge 3-inch opening right here, yeah. and I see how it how it actually funnels down into a 2-inch opening. It does, yep. So what's the purpose of that? So it makes it easier. Just an easier opening to slide into, so it don't have to be in an exact straight angle to go into here for it to slide into there. We also improved on this in the past two years. This is the forged opening, so there's no way this thing is going to actually ream out and have issues like uh, a lot of trucks receivers do yeah some yeah other hitches that are on the market older versions that actually do that oh, so it maintains its tolerance Absolutely. which is really nice and we've got a um, forged uh, cone on the hitch bar as well now okay so, so perfectly. in terms of trailers themselves you said how much is this part in, our, in terms of weight on the front the, just this section that attaches permanently to the trailer yeah so this whole section here um is about 120 pounds roughly so it's not that bad yeah. so if you have a small trailer let's say like an r pod or something relatively small mm -hmm. you do have to factor in you're going to add about 100 and something pounds to your right. your actual tongue weight in terms of trailer front the front of your trailer weight that's actually resting on it i um, mean then you have probably i'm guessing about 40 pounds worth of yeah, it's 50 55 pounds okay 55 yep. pounds worth of shank that's going to plug into it so you know it's, it's not really adding that much tongue weight but the question i have is size of trailer and sure. weight of trailer that this is ideal for what yeah. would you generally say the range would be I and mean, we've got them all over i mean literally we've got a new uh, base camp um, addition actually so we've got some custom jacks that we made for base camps that go in there okay so as yeah. small as that 
um, like a, a tandem axle all the way into as big as you want to go travel trailer. Right? Cool. So we've got some of the biggest Jayco's with these on it right now. So some of the components that need to change for different size of trailers, sure. are they like the spring bars? What would you yeah. have to change out? The neat thing about the system is they're all the same other than the spring bar value. So the spring bar is the only thing that differs. Um, those have such a wide range too. We really suggest either the thousands or 1400s. Um, and that's what our partners at E-Trailer carry. If you're under about 750 pounds of tongue weight and below, the thousands will work perfect for you. If you're gonna be about 751 or above, the 1400s will work fantastic for you and uh, not offer any issues or any problems that way. Very cool. Well, Brent, I really appreciate your time. This yeah, thing yeah, is yeah, absolutely I cool. It. I am so glad to see it out here. Um, this is actually one of the first times I've seen one in person. So, you know, and, and I told him, I said, it's one of those things to where if I see an innovative product and I look at it and, I, and I'm like, man, that is just well designed. Everything looks good about it. Um, that's where the recommendations come in. So a lot of viewers were the ones that actually said, hey, why don't you uh, see if E-Trailer can carry ProPride? And look what happened. Yeah, E-Trailer carries go. ProPride. Nice work out of you. Yeah. If you want a you uh, fifth wheel experience with the travel trailer, that's your go-to. Right there we right. go. Again, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.